A pastor asked me to preach, and I always count that a, a great, great privilege. Uh, as the years go by and you think maybe you'll never get to do something again, it's always a, just a blessing to, to know maybe you can do it just one more time. Maybe God's got just one more thing for you. My wife always knows, so she always volunteers for the nursery. <laughs> and she says, that speaker doesn't work with a hoot over there, so she's happy with that, you know. I, uh, Scott laid something on my heart that I, I think we need, I think we all need. And it's just one little word, one little word. I want you to take your Bibles, I want you to turn to 2 Corinthians chapter number 1. I'm going to read a couple of verses out of it in just a moment. Uh, as a priest tonight, I, I just got to thinking on this as a message that I've had, had ready when Pastor asked me to speak. I was kind of ready, but uh, you're never completely ready. Uh, let, me sh let me share something with you that 53 years of preaching has uh, taught somebody. When I started preaching back 53 years ago in my first few messages and everything, I remember one time I got invited to preach at a place, and I worked on a message, and I was so proud and thought I was going to be so good. Now I'm 53 years later and preached thousands of times, and I'm scared to death. Because you see, folks, there's a God in heaven, and he's the one who gave us this book. And this book has special things in it that God has for each and every one of us. And then God uh, allows certain men, special men, not special men, but certain men, to open up this book and, and to share it with, uh, with other people. And the reason God does that is because we need it. And it's stuff that uh, God wants the Holy Spirit to uh, just... Uh,